Hello makeup artists, this video is going to be dedicated to Halloween that's approaching and it's going to be inspired by one of the heroes of the new movie Hocus Pocus 2 released on Disney. So I've split the screen with the makeup of Sarah Jessica Parker that's starting in this movie and you can see this is a quite interesting look to recreate. So I started with coloring the hair just for having the complete look. I've layered some foundation and eyeshadow. You can use your finger to make it faster. Uh, do use the uh, symmetrical mirror mod. The button is on the upper right corner of the screen. So now I'm going to move on to the face and using this color from the Love Story Kit. The reason I chose this color is because it has a pinkish undertone and I think every time you use a red lip it is important to match all the colors in the face to it so it doesn't look alien. And this time it's going to be a cold colors. So this is just a mm, beautiful color with a pinkish undertone. I'm using also a concealer that matches to the same color of foundation and moving on to the powder. I'm going to use both two colors, the pinkish one and the lighter one. I want to have this pinkish glow on the face. That also will help me to blend colors on the face together. The red of the lips will have its reflection in the pinkish um, glow of the skin. I took the darkest color as well to maybe do some subtle contouring on the face just on the sides of the forehead and maybe on the sides of the nose as well. Moving on to the blush I want to start using a kit that is called the Witching Hours and that was the idea to incorporate colors of that kit that is specifically themed for Halloween and both of these colors for the blush are actually quite nice for this look. The colder one has almost this purple iridescent shine. You can see I have a couple of pictures. I just keep sliding them to see um, certain angles that I need. And the warmer one can be also used. I will use it to color the shirt just to see how all of the colors work together for the theme. And this lip pencil is perfect for this look. I am using the color again from the Witching Hours kit. I think I accidentally pressed the other tool with my hand, so I'm coming back. And what I want to do is to outline the lips gently. I will focus on bringing both lips to the same corner and kind of making the lip rounded on the bottom and the color is very interesting it's like very deep and it almost like shines from within even though it's dark i don't know how to explain it but it has like a lot of color packed in it so the idea that i have is start with a metallic lipstick and this one is kind of this purple color this is a party time kit and of course it's not the same but I want to preserve this glow that it gives and then to make it a little more matte I will go to eyeshadow section and kind of change it slightly with this neon pink color and maybe take a darker like burgundy color this is the love story kit and also alter the color a bit but just 
little bit because I want that metal sparkle to kind of show through steel and it will give me that depth that I need so I'm packing it more on the corners and I will take a darker color maybe more of a purple one this is the witching hours kit and use it in the center of the lip so it's really mm, three-dimensional three-dimensional look I love how it looks and I'm going to just use a touch of it also in the corner switching to the eye that's a very interesting makeup and I want to start with using some colors to fill in the eye just layering a few light blue colors and I need some kind of a neutral color to start drawing the shape of the eye makeup so I will begin with using a dark pencil for the eyebrow because the eye makeup will be tied in to the eyebrow shape and since the shape is really exaggerated and different from the one I have on the template I want to find its shape first and then um, apply some eyeshadows to tie it together so now I am just finding the shape using some strokes and following this exaggerated thick shape in the beginning and then making a beautiful round arch with a thinner tail. And the color I'm using is the dark one of the Love Story kit. The interesting thing that it also has a light color and if you feel like you want to give it a more of a, a refined edge, you can also use negative uh, drawing with a light color to make it like less saturated. So that's what I'm going to do and show you how to do it on the upper edge. It's going to look more natural that way. I'm picking this pinkish color from the fall leaves kit. And I want to find the shape of the makeup and that's fine that I'm going to overlap with the eyebrow because I'm still going to use eyeshadows on top of that pencil. So I just want to find the boundaries of color. And I'm using pink color because it's kind of a nice color to use as a transition from very dark to the skin color and since I'm using um, a like this very berry colors for the lips and pinkish undertone for the skin then this cold pink color or it's more of a neutral pink color is going to complement those shades so this is just a base it's going to be mainly covered so it doesn't really matter what color you use so much and now I'm going to switch to the witching hours kit and take this very deep saturated purple and I'm going to start darkening the area of the crease and pay attention to the way the pencil is um, to the angle that you use the pencil because it matters if you want a softer and more wide line you can tilt it more if you use it more straight you can get a really thinner and darker line so I'm using a different approaches to different areas here for example I need a very narrow area um, on the lower lid so if you can see I'm using it very straight and then I'm tilting it to use a softer kind of uh, broad and diluted area on the upper lid. 
So I connected it and I created this C kind of rounded shape with the eyebrow. Now I want to find some more muted and dark colors. This one is the kit Lace and Pearls and the darkest color I'm going to use to further deepen these shadows. Here it is, so it's going to be really dark. And I am still going to take a black color, the one from the Wild Garden Kit, to actually make it even darker. So I'm not using the eyeliner or eye pencil, instead I'm just taking a black eyeshadow and using it really in a thin line next to the eyelash line. It's going to have this beautiful blended effect and I took a gray color as well to make it a little lighter in this inner corner area. I don't know if I really need it, I'm just experimenting and if you need to blend the color more just take a lighter shade as I took this pink from the Wild Garden Kit and I'm blending the area between the initial pink that I had and the dark purple and I think that works really well. So this kit has a really cool purple color of the eye pencil I'm going to use it to create a really thin line on the inner, on the lower lid, like inner side of the lower lid. You can't really see it that much, but it creates a little bit of, I don't know, it's just a really cool effect. I really love it. It makes the eye look brighter and more lively. And I will still use this color from Rose Gold Kit to fill in the eyebrow, like I said in the beginning. Trying to make sure the shape is preserved and works well with the rest of the eye look. So I'm not tilting my pencil to get um, full control of the line especially in the areas that are really narrow for the eyebrow it's the best way to control that color so there is a lot of depth right now i'm really pleased with the way it is and i'm thinking what else to add the eyelashes that i used is the same kit the witching hours I really like it because it follows the shape of an eye really well. It's not like overly lifted. It almost has this straight, straight looking um, corner. I really love that. And I used a little bit of that purple glitter. Although it's not originally in the makeup, I imagine it would be really nice for a Halloween party just to add some sparkle to it and it wouldn't hurt really. Maybe the last touch that I will make is create a small mole on the chin just to get the likeness to the character really. I'm gonna use this color from the Kawaii Kid. It has a red kind of purple undertone and it's going to match the makeup really well. I really hope you had a good time watching this video and you enjoyed the makeup. Tilt the iPad from side to side to see all the textures. Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a like and subscribe to this channel.